Let's take a couple of minutes now to talk about something called external variables. C programming has the concept of external and internal items. An internal item is something declared within a function. Now all functions are externals, are all external items because one function cannot be declared inside of another function. So therefore they are all at the external level. Variables, however, are places in memory where we're going to put things, different values, and they can be external or internal. What we have looked at so far are internal variables, our little integers and characters and a few floats and things that have always been defined uh, for the most part inside main, which itself of course is a function. So those have all been internal to main, and that means that other functions, func1, 2, and 3 that we wrote earlier, those functions cannot see those variables because the variables are contained, they're encapsulated inside of main. So there's no way for those functions to get a hold of what's in those variables and do anything with them. Well that brings us to external variables. Now an external is only declared once per the entire program, but it may be referenced in all or many of the source files. It doesn't have to be referenced in all of them. It would only be referenced, of course, in a source file where a function in that source file was going to use the external. So here, you see, we have a little main, few little statements, but here is an external variable being declared. Here, it's an integer, and I called it evar. It's an external variable, a little semicolon. Uh, I was a bad programmer. I did not initialize it, but you know what? Externals, like that, are automatically initialized. They are given a zero value, so that uh, we don't have to deal with it. We should, but we don't have to. They will be set to zero when they're created. Now this is another source file over here. It's a totally different .c file, and it's going to have one or more functions and, and other things going on in it. We want to be able to reference down in here in func1 or 2 or 3 or whatever is over here, this evar. But we want to make sure when all of these are all combined together into a final program that we're only talking about this one place in memory so that main and the functions and all the rest of these pieces of work all reference a single global variable, a single variable that is external to all of the functions, but they all know how to get to it. And we do that by using the keyword here, extern. Extern int tells these functions within this one source file that there is something defined someplace else, and it's called evar, and it's an integer. So treat it as an integer and cast values appropriately, typecast them appropriately to fit inside an integer, but do not make up new storage. Do not set aside new memory for this thing called evar. Somebody else has already done it. Then at link time, when all of these uh, source files have been compiled into object code and everything is linked together, these will be references back to this identifier and this object wherever it is created in memory. Okay, so that's an external variable. And we're about to move on into something called scope, which is how long a variable hangs around and how it gets created and where it gets put in, in memory. So that is really going to tie into this. But I, I want to make sure you understand the concept of an external. Some languages call them globals. But the concept of an external variable being outside of all other functions. You'll have a problem if you come over here and make extern int the first time you declare it, because then you're telling main that somebody else declared it. So one time the external variable gets declared without the word extern, and then every other time that it's referenced, then that's where you use the word extern. Okay? Big difference. Hang in there. Let's go on to the next video.